Hi guys. Wanted to talk to you about uh, belts. Um, there's a lot of different styles. We're used to a lot of different styles, riggers belts that are out on the market, Velcro riggers belts. And then of course, uh, war belts as well. They come in a lot of different type of variations. These two belts are done by aeolusdefense.com. Uh, and <clears throat> this piece, um, all interfaces together. However, most of us are familiar with this style of gear. <clears throat> Though they make all the components that I'm about to show you, I think it's the next two components that have really kind of caught my eye. And it depends on what you're doing, whether you're military, law enforcement, SWAT, doing anything helicopter related or anything where immediately on uh, with short notice, you realize you need more of a harness style of system. And therein lies where we're about to go next. So the riggers belt is great. We can Velcro our, our war belt to it. Um, but a lot of people think that if you attach here, you could do a form of quick repel. This buckle is designed like this to withstand 4,000 pounds. But when a person falls and it bends, what's been noticed is a lot of breakage in this area, which means that they're technically not rated. So the belt you see that I have on now, this is gonna go over. So as an example, if you're a law enforcement officer, SWAT officer, something like that, military personnel, um, you have this at your disposal. And what we're gonna see is how this, and I apologize, this belt's not made for me, it's made for a stronger looking human being. But nevertheless, um, what we're gonna see next is how this interfaces with this particular uh, product right here. When you know you're gonna do something that requires a harness, one of the things that generally happens is you put on a full harness and then you walk around that whole entire time with this harness on and maybe you do 10% or 20% of your job in that harness and the rest of the time you don't or something comes up and you kind of wish you had a harness. So this right here can go in a BDU pocket. We know that it's very small and this part is what's gonna end up interfacing with this part and this is a quick and hasty repel harness for all intents and purposes. So now that I have the harness on right here, slipped it on real quick, it beaners up right here on its top loop that's already installed. And now, however you wanna set it up uh, with all your other type of grease or uh, other repelling mechanisms, figure eights, things of that sort, you can. So again, if I don't wanna be in this harness anymore because I don't need it, I can take this off and I'm good. So something quick and hasty that's out on the market and I think, it, uh, I think it's kinda cool to take a look at.